I think the the uh, the Rock of Gibraltar. We, we speak of the Rock of Gibraltar, and people want to see, want to go for the for the Rock Tour. The Rock Tour is what we've sold for so many years, and it's it's what most people want to see. The Apes again, you know. Um, I, I agree with you up to a point. You know, I mean, we need to we need to move away. We need to we need to modernize. It's difficult, uh, but you know we've we've we ha we've had you know different type of uh, attractions. You know, the 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 Skywalk is one. The suspension bridge is not. We we we've, we've invested. It's it's, it's a, it takes a lot of money. To in, invest in, the, in these in, in these sort of products and also space, which we lack. Mm -hmm. So um, all these things have to be taken into account when we say that we need to move away. Uh, you know that, that there are there are many other things. You know that activities I think that we need to promote also. So not necessarily um, attractions, but activities. And I think we're doing that. And I think we're having a lot of uh, investment from the private sector, which is good to see too. So tell me a little bit more about that vision. What type of investment from the private sector? What type of activities are we talking about here? Look, we're seeing we're, we're seeing we're seeing uh, businesses opening up where, where yachting is concerned. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of private yacht hires, and I think that's very important because whenever you go to uh, places uh, similar to Gibraltar, you know, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, people want to go. The water, water is what people want to see, and therefore, if you're going to go, you know, it's it, again, it's this is. There has to be investment from the private sector if we really want to see tourism succeed because it can't all be government-led. Look, the government is, is doing a lot, uh, but th there has to be businesses need to decide whether they want to participate in this kind of uh, activity, and, and therefore that is what we're hoping. We're hoping that we have people because look, there's a lot of uh, uh, Gibraltar entrepreneurs who, who have good ideas, and I think what we want to do is that those ideas to be put into practice and see where we can go. What is the government doing to encourage those entrepreneurs? Of course, like you say, you want investment from the private sector, but m if they need that push, what is the government doing to encourage that? Well, what, one of the things that um, I will be launching soon will be the uh, sort of uh, um, a startup uh, scheme for for new businesses, businesses that that have ideas, you know, related to tourism, related to uh, to to to, you know, to general activity that can attract people to Gibraltar. So that's one of the things we we understand that it's difficult. People, like I say, have a lot of ideas, but sometimes they don't have the finance. Uh, so this is something where we're going to we're going to try and help him. Well, there has been uh, some disruption this summer from the water supply issue to a, a number of power cuts over the summer. Uh, there was one case we came across where some visitors to The Rock wanted to attend the new St. Michael's uh, cave experience but weren't able to because of a power cut at the time they visited. Now, how, how does that make you feel? What effect would you say that has on Gibraltar's tourism? Look, there, there are, these are unfortunate uh, incidents, uh, you know, when there is a... They are fairly frequent. They are still unfortunate incidents. You know, I mean, the last incident that was the the power cut was a was a, you know a cable that was drilled through. I mean, these things happen. The Gibraltar. The problem is the Gibraltar's or Gibraltar's is small. You know, some of our infrastructure is not is is not right, and 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 you know these things happen, and we've got to we've got to deal with. I'm like I say, um, I've not had any particular complaints about 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 things that have affected tourists. Uh, but I think these are un unfortunate incidents, and uh, and I think we deal with them as well as we can. Well, Minister, in the GSLP 2019 manifesto, there were a number of things there, from a COVID app to Cirque du Soleil. But of course, uh, since then, COVID happened, and we are aware that a lot of things have changed. So, how would you say you plan to, you know, invest in Gibraltar's tourism and give the economy that growth that that it needs? whilst also rowing back on public spending. I mean, look, uh, that's the situation we, we find ourselves in. Uh, we, we've said it already that we will not uh, fulfill all, all the promises that we made in our 2019 manifesto for obvious reasons. We would, would love to do that. But I can tell you that uh, in so far as tourism is concerned, as I've looked at everything that we did say that we would do, and um, my target really is to do as much as possible, and I don't think I'll be very far off. But what would you say the impact of that reduced budget has on tourism on those plans you have? Well, look, all we are, we are, we, we, budgets are all reduced. We, we need to make sure that we have to make the most of what we have. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think the, the in, 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 look, in, in other countries in the world, tourism, it, 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 it's, a, it's always a partnership with the, with, a, with, the, with the private sector. And I think it's very important, like, and, I, and I've said it a few times today in, in my interview, but I think it's important that the private sector realizes this and that, that they really want tourism to, to, to be a success. Then they need to invest too. Now, are we uh, promoting Gibraltar abroad, um, and where and how, if we are? 
Well, I mean, at the moment we are promoting Gibraltar uh, abroad. Of course, we are in, in the UK primarily, um, and sometimes it's uh, not so much uh, promoting to bring business, but it's it's to keep the Gibraltar brand name present. Because um, I, I, as I said this earlier, that you know people tell me that you know Gibraltar is always full. Now, now what can we do about that? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that we stop promoting Gibraltar because Gibraltar is full, because that's not what the people tell me. The stakeholders tell me that we need to keep on promoting Gibraltar, mm -hmm. and I think that's very important that we keep the brand name visible. It's very, it's very difficult because you know um, we're in a we're in a market which is extremely competitive. There is one cake. We have the same people fighting for a slice of that cake. So it's important that Gibraltar is present in in conferences. Gibraltar is present in marketing events, uh, just to keep our brand name present. And I think we've done an excellent job in in in, in keeping Gibraltar's name uh, visible, extremely visible. And I will continue doing that. Um, we do hear of these big announcements, you know, when something big, exciting, new is going to come. But what about the little things, you know, maybe a bit more investment in cleaning and signage, these types of things that aren't so expensive? I couldn't agree with you more. I, mean, I think it's very important that we have, uh, let me say that these things don't fall under me. Uh, cleaning doesn't come under me, signage doesn't come under me, but it's something that, that, that I do uh, in cabinet, always with my colleagues uh, bring up, because it's, it's, part of, it's part of tourism. So I think it's important to, to, for Gibraltar to be clean. It is something that, uh, that I'm working on behind the scenes and hopefully we'll be making some announcements with, uh, through the bid uh, for cleaning on, on, on Main Street, etc. So I think that's very important. It's important to have the, the, the right image because it's, at the end of the day it is all about image. And um, signage is something that I think, I think we've, we've improved on that recently, but it's something that we will, we will keep on doing. Little things are important. Okay, so before we go, but if you could give us you know, your top three, three things at the moment that you'd say are the priorities when it comes to tourism in Gibraltar, what is it for you? For me, the first one is clean and green, and I, and I got this from the, from the bid because I thought that it was excellent because they asked me what the, which one was I attracted to first, and I thought clean and green was, I think it's very important. You know? Clean and green is, is really the way to be. Um, and then look, for me, it's important that we keep on marketing Gibraltar. The brand name, the Gibraltar brand name is, is really at an all-time high. I can tell you that. I speak to a lot of people, and I think it's important that we, we keep on doing that. And then for me, the, the, the other thing is cruising. I think cruising, Gibraltar has to really, really go for it because Gibraltar has a potential to be the best port in the Mediterranean. It's quite clear to me the way I speak to people. The, the, the feedback that I get from people, and I'm, I hope to be making announcements very soon over the next four to five months on, 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 on proper investment on, on cruising. So plans to refurbish the port perhaps? I will be making announcements over the next uh, four to five months on, on, on proper, proper uh, uh, you know, for, for cruising, proper announcements for cruising.